Hi, this is Mike Stryko with the Devers Eye Institute in Portland, Oregon. This is a case I was recently sent with a dislocated intraocular lens that was partially in the bag. As you can see, there's some vitreous prolapse, some retained cortical material as well, and a uh, slightly poorly centered intraocular lens. So after making paracentesis with diamond blades, attention was directed to careful anterior vitrectomy where all the vitreous was removed and then Viscoelastic was placed in the eye to keep the rest of the vitreous from presenting forward. Next, I dissected the capsular leaflets apart using viscoelastic to free up the optic and to make sure that both of the haptics were in the sulcus. At this point, I noticed that one of the haptics was bent, which is probably part of the reason for the uh, poor centration of this intraocular lens. Next, we removed all of the cortical material using a dry technique with a J cannula. I like this is a nice controlled technique. Very unlikely to damage your capsule or get you in any trouble with vitreous. Next, I recentered the intraocular lens and then used an optic capture technique where I left the haptics in the sulcus and captured the optic in the rexus. This will allow this lens to center nicely even with the bent haptic. Here's a sped up clip where I'm just thoroughly removing all the viscoelastic. The wounds are sutured tight, myocol is introduced, the pupil comes down nicely, and that's the end of the case. Thank you very much for watching.